This is Kilo, and today I was asked by a subscriber, as a locksmith, how do I approach a warded padlock? You know, do I just sit there trying to pick it? Um, do I just cut them off? You know what I do? And I just want to let you guys know, as a locksmith, you're not going to spend a lot of time picking padlocks. You're not going to spend a lot of time, just in general, and on a warded padlock, you're really not going to sit there with your normal pick kit. So, uh, and another thing to note, as a locksmith, over all the years I've been doing this, I have come across two or three warded padlocks on calls. And two of them that I can remember, I think I've, I came across three, I just, I can't remember. But I know two of them were on calls that I was already at, and they just said, hey, you know, I forgot I have this lock on this, you know, gate back here, and, and they happen to be warded locks. Um, these are really cheap locks. I, I don't know what this one cost. I haven't sold a warded padlock in years, but I think they're around 4 or $5 uh, American, and... You know, the question that was asked today is, you know, how do I go about picking it? How can you even tell it is a warded padlock? Is there any sign that, you know, it is or isn't? So to answer all of these questions, you know, I'm going to go through them one by one. So looking at this padlock here, this is a warded padlock. And in case, you know, over the years that you'll be doing this, you'll be able to eyeball it right off the bat. But I'm going to set this master number three next to him, and you will notice how short the body is on the warded padlock compared to the master number three. This is a, a fortress lock, and it's also a warded padlock. And you can see, you know, this one as well is the same size. They're all relatively about this size. So, you know, if you see, you know, a lock that looks like it's half a lock, it's probably a warded padlock. Uh, or a very cheap padlock, but normally that's an indicator. On a normal, you know, on this master number three, on a pin tumbler lock, you see the keyway, you can see the pin right there kind of protruding down. You can tell right off the bat, you know, you guys know what a pin tumbler lock looks like. On this one, aside from the shorter body, the main giveaway of a warded lock is this zigzag keyway here. You'll look down it, you won't see any pins, there's nothing in there. So that is the giveaway that you are dealing with a warded padlock. So, you know, your normal lock pick kit isn't really going to help you out here. So the way that this works, before I show you how we pick it open, uh, let me explain to you. We're going to go ahead and use this key here for the master uh, number three. When we insert this key in, it pushes these pins upwards until the top pins and the bottom pins align at a shear line, allowing us to turn the core over. Now that is the way that a standard pin tumbler lock works. With a warded lock, the key looks a lot different. It's got these notches cut out. They are perfectly squared off. They are not, you know, angled in any way. and to kind of give you an idea here, let's say we push this key into this lock and I'm going to use this quick set removal tool to simulate a ward. When we push this in, these notches are cut at a certain depth to where it's going to bypass the ward and allow a full rotation of the key. If this was the wrong key, let's say the ward's here, and you put this key into another warded lock, it's going to, you know, it's not gonna be able to move. It's gonna get stuck on this ward and you can impression it and keep filing this down until, you know, you get it to pass through. So that's the way that this works. Once you get a full rotation, it actuates the mechanism and allows you to unlock the padlock. So the way that this works, you put this in, you twist and you pull the shackle out. To put it back in, you have to insert the key, twist it the same way you did to unlock it, and you set your shackle in, and you can lower it to whatever you know height you want. So let's say that we get to one of these and we don't have this key. Now what I use 
is a set of warded pick keys. I picked these up from Sparrows Lockpicks, as many of my tools are from. Um, Sparrows is a really quality site to buy your tools from. I do have South Ord, I have Peterson, I have a lot of different tools, but I've noticed that for the price, you really cannot beat Sparrows. They are, in my opinion, better quality than a lot of the South Ord picks they've held up. I've had, you know, South Ord picks break on me and the pick, the exact same style, like a Bogota from Sparrows lasted three times as long. Just in, as a locksmith, that's saying a lot because we're, we get kind of rough where in the locksport community, you're a little more delicate with the picks. We kind of get a little crazy. So these are, you know, a set of five and these are all different depths, different, you know, gaps here in the, you know, spacing here of, you know, where the ward might be. So all you got to do is pick up a kit like this. I will leave a link in the description below. And you can start out with, I like to start out with this one. Uh, personally, this usually gets it done first try on most of the locks. So you insert it just like a key and you twist and you see we just open this lock just that easy so you know it won't push back down until we turn it you know we push it back in actuate it allow it to drop back down so this just simulates a key now let's say this one doesn't work all you got to do is grab you know your next one we'll even try this one see if this one works this one is too short so well, oh no <laughs> that worked so i mean you see it's just that easy. You don't have to sit there and try and um, kill yourself trying to figure out what this is and try and pick it with your, you know, your standard picks. This one is a little short, but it does actuate the mechanism there. So just to kind of show you guys, this is the go-to method in the field for a locksmith and probably in lock sport, you know, in general. You can probably sit there if you want to just play a puzzle game and... Uh, try and pick them with a you know a normal pick kit. Good luck to you. So that's really all there is to this video. If you guys liked it, you can feel free to subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. And I hope this helped you kind of give you guys some insight onto how to handle a warded padlock. So thank you guys for the views. Thanks for the subscribers. We're up to 34 now. That's That's awesome. You know, I didn't expect this channel to grow beyond you know four or five people in the beginning so i wanted to thank every one of you guys and i appreciate you so as always you know stay safe out there don't pick locks that don't belong to you and as always have a nice day